So back in example two, uh, we were converting from degrees to radians. And what we're going to do here in example three is we're going to actually convert radians into degrees. So if you remember, um, we learned we had the uh, nice little thing back here <coughs> where if you're converting radians to degrees, what you have to do is you have to multiply your radians, because that's your pi over six, by a 180 over pi radians. So if we go back to the problem here, we're going to multiply this by a 180 over pi. And the reason we do that is because then that's going to cancel out our pi's, like so. So then what you have is just a 180 divided by 6, which is 30. This is going to give you 30 degrees. So same thing here for B. If we want to um, can't turn this radian into degrees, you're going to multiply this by a 180 degrees over pi. So that's your conversion factor. So then your pi is cancel. And you can also cancel your, uh, you can reduce your 180 and your 30. So this, or 3, becomes a 1. 180 divided by 3 is 60. So if you take a negative 5 times 60, that gives you a negative 300 degrees. Remember, we talked about negative 300 degrees. That means you go around your circle this direction. That's negative direction. So counterclockwise. Now, a lot of people get confused when they see C because they just see three radians, and they're just like, well, there's no pi. Well, remember, this is a pi radians. This is a pi radians. So if you have radians on top, you're still multiplying by 180 degrees over pi radians. You're just canceling the labels. So when you cancel these labels, radians cancels here. And you're going to get 540 degrees over pi. And what you can do is you can simplify that a little bit. And if you get uh, 540 divided by pi, um, so you're divided by like a 3.14. See, if you plug that into your calculator, that should give you um, about. 170, basically 172 degrees if you round up. So 172 degrees. So if we try D, see if you can do D on your own. So pause this video real quick. See if you can do D. Do D. That's kind of weird. Um, if you can do letter D, and we'll see if you get the same answer. So pause it and see what you get. So hopefully you pause this and you multiply it by a 180 over pi. Pi is cancel. Uh, two becomes a one, this becomes a 90. So 11 times 90 is going to give you a total of 990 degrees. So hopefully that wasn't too bad converting from radians to degrees. Um, just keep in mind this is a conversion factor and that's gonna help you immensely throughout this chapter.